Hey guys, Sean here with TDSJ and today we're going to be doing some product reviews on some stuff that we've got for camping and just some other household um, items. So I think what I'm going to do is just save all of the camping stuff here for last because there's two things that I've got that are going to be, um, you know, just for the every everyday household thing. So the first thing that I'd like to do is this battery pack that we got from Walmart for $9. So supposedly it's got a, you know, a, it'll do up to two full charge. It's got an LD or an LED display and um, it'll do two full charges on any device. So we'll see. It's got a slim design. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what it looks like. And then I will be doing an update version on this once we get it charged and everything because like I said I haven't opened it yet I guess I should cut away from myself and not towards myself even though I'm not a boy scout it's just save knife practice right all right so let's go ahead and open this guy you know what we don't need the package so I'm just gonna move it there we go open it up like a man Okay, so in the box we've got the Slim Design charger here. You've got two ports for charging. I don't know if you'll be able to see. You got a port here for charging, a port here for charging, and then this is the inlet charge here, and then a power button. And then one of the uh, charger says tablet on it. It's actually labeled tablet. I don't know if it'll focus in on that or not. But let's just see how much battery this has. So, so there's the LED display, it says 61%. So I'm guessing that's how much battery percentage is left in this. So we'll just turn that off. Maybe it doesn't, it'll just turn off by itself. And then of course they always give you the shortest, most cutest, stubbiest little charge cord in the world. And everyone knows where that usually goes. In the garbage. Because we use long cords around here. Oh, okay. The next thing I have here for household use, or that my wife is actually going to be taking to work with her, is this uh, fan here, this portable battery powered fan, because I guess it gets hot at the hospital that she works at, so she's going to be taking this with her to work. I'll go ahead and open that up and show you what it looks like. Now this fan takes two D batteries, which I currently don't have outside. I came unprepared for that. So that's what it looks like out of the box. And it's got a on and off switch right here. It's, it's got two different settings. It's got off, um, low speed, and then I guess a medium size speed. And the battery pack actually looks like it is unscrewed a little bit. So let me grab a screwdriver. See if we can't just take this thing off and I'll show you how everything is kind of compacted in here into the base of the fan. So it looks like the battery pack is held in by one screw and then both D batteries goes down into there. And then that's it with the cover on. So yeah, so I mean it's pretty flimsy. It wasn't very expensive. I mean the, the fan itself isn't very big inside there. And so... So yeah, I'm sure she'll like it. We'll have to do another further product review on this a little bit later. If she brings it home, we'll do one on there or we'll ask her about it and go from there. So that's it on that. Um, we're going to stop the video here now because I'm going to do the camping stuff a little bit different. We're going to um, break it up into segments. So we're going to stop the video now and then I'm going to do one thing at a time. Now, the one thing that's on the table that I'm not going to review is obviously the propane tanks because if you don't know what a propane tank is, then maybe you shouldn't be around them. Um, but these are the camping style propane tanks for the gas cooker, which isn't up here, that I need to pull out too. So I'll grab that out and then we'll go that route. So we'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.